Hey, Shalom, brother, Shalom. Hey, first of all, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Havakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders and teachers of Great Milso, and the rule well and teach well. It's brother Yahweh Shai Zion, and I'm just coming through real quick, man, with a lesson, okay? So, the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, man, is uh, basically separating us from these fake ass false prophets and also these worldly mother efforts man okay now the reason why i say that man is because that's what they are they're demons they're demonic they're against the scriptures they're against the lord they're against all the ways of righteousness man and they need to be destroyed man <laughs> okay because you hate the lord and you know basically man we hate every false way so if you're gonna be doing that we gonna hate you in righteousness with perfect hatred just like king david said man it's Proverbs 14 and verse number two. It says, he that walketh in his uprightness feareth the Lord, Yahweh. But he that is perverse in his ways despiseth him. Okay. So let's look at the word for perverse. Because this is the tail of the tape right here, man. You know what I'm saying? We're going to figure it out through this. H. Uh, I think it's 1090. Okay, so it says to go wrong, go crooked, devious, perverse, so participle, to be lost from view, to become devious. <laughs> and, and even that word, devious, is uh, serious, man. If somebody called you devious, man, that, that means that you're a deviant. Basically, somebody who veers off from the path of correct righteousness. And you got to get the judgment for that, man. Because the Lord's not dealing with you fake scoffers, you demons, you demonic people who follow the ways of Baal, man. The Lord is, is judging you, man. And he's going to come against you, man, and fight against you with the sword of his mouth. Revelation 2 and verse number 16, man. Okay, repent or else I will come against you quickly, roughly paraphrasing, and fight against them with the sword of my mouth. And that sword is going to be pure fire, man. You people are going to get vaporized, man, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yashai. What do you think this is, man? You think this is some type of uh, uh, easy road to, to travel? Hell no, man. This is the road less traveled. You know I'm saying you people that eat octopus and all this weird shit, uh, lobster and crab and stuff, you stupid, man. And you think that that's some type of delicacy, man. What your dumbass fails to realize is that there's laws, statutes, and commandments of the Lord, Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, that teaches you how to live correct. Okay? How to not eat bottom feeders, which will kill your flesh from the inside out. Because those bottom feeders clean the ecosystem, man. But you wouldn't know that because you don't care. This is Strong's definition for H3868. It says... To turn aside, to depart figuratively. It says, be perverse, depart forward perverseness. So that's your, that's your whole entire modus operandi, if you will. Okay, your modus operandi is to go against the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yashah, but the Lord is going to destroy you and kill you, man. Big facts, big, big facts, man. There's nothing you're going to be able to do about that, man. All right. Let's go back to the scripture. So again, man, Proverbs 14 and 2 says, He that walketh in, in his uprightness. And, and let's look at the word for uprightness. H3476. Straightness, uprightness, evenness. It says moral implications. Rightness, uprightness. What is right? What is due? Exactly. Because Joshua 1 and 8 simply says what it says, man. It says what it says, man. All right. If you meditate on the word of the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, day and night, you're going to be prosperous and successful, man. Prosperous and successful. All right. And that's more important. Like it says here in a Strong's definition, it says uh, the right, equity, meet, right, uprightness uprightness okay that's important man let's get verse 7 it says um 
Proverbs 14 to 7, it says, Go from the presence of a foolish man when thou perceivest not in him the lips of knowledge. And the foolish man, remember the scripture says, the fool says in his heart, which is his mind, there is no God. And what that God is talking about and representing is the ways of Yahweh, Bahashem Shai from the Bible. Now they may believe in uh, Krishna and Buddha and shit and Allah, all that bullshit. But those gods are false gods. See what I'm saying? Because listen, they have no type of validation like the prophecies in the scriptures. When you say something going to go down and it goes down, they know that you are prophet of the Lord, man. Amos 3 and 7. Surely the Lord Yahweh will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets to his servants, the prophets. All right. And I know you people listening to me, man, you could dance to this tune because listen, man, I know what time it is, man. Through the spirit of Yahweh Shemel Shai. Okay. You're going to listen to the ways of Yahweh Shemel Shai. And if you're not down with it, man. And well, then you're just a foolish man. The Lord's going to kill your ass, man. And I have no problem with that, man. I have no problem with the Lord killing you niggas, man. You niggas and you spicks and wetbacks, man. You got to get destroyed, man. Because you just a bunch of niggas anyway, man. <coughs> so, yeah, the foolish man will now perceive it's not in him the lips of knowledge. Let's look at the word for knowledge, man. H1847. Knowledge, perception, skill. Discernment, understanding, wisdom. What it's really talking about is a man that doesn't respect the word of the Lord. That's a stupid, dumb, goofy that doesn't believe in Yahweh and the Bible. So you just got to depart from him, man. When, he, when you perceive in him that he doesn't have the lips of the fit, really, ultimately, when the person doesn't respect the word of the Lord, you're supposed to just depart from the person. Because you don't got time for that stuff, man. There's other people that do respect it, man. There's other people out here that get it. Not these dumbbells that don't get it, man. All right? The spirit power, yeah, how about you, how it shot? So all you got to do is just basically just understand that, man. I'm saying don't be a dummy. You got to get with it, man. So in the Strong's uh, definition, it says uh, knowledge, cunning, nor rently, knowledge, awares, wittingly. Yeah, because if somebody is not, doesn't have their wits about them, then they don't even know what's happening. So why the hell would you want to hang out with somebody that doesn't even know what's happening? You know what I'm saying? You got to get away from them, man. That's why what... Um, Fellowship is there with light, with darkness. If somebody is dark, your, your, your light needs to be, a, you need to bounce, man. You need to get away from them, man, through the spirit. Because you don't, you don't, not, you're not trying to deal with those types of people, man. Am I right? You need, and ultimately, you got to acknowledge the Lord, man. So... Um, you don't acknowledge the Lord, you're, you're going to be put to death, man. You people out there, man, you stupid, man. Proverbs 14 and verse number 12, it says, There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. And that's, that's pure and plain and simple, man. So what you going to say against that? Well, now, nah, man, well, you know, no way. No, of course it's going to seem right to you. That's why we don't, we don't, uh, Judged by our own merit or our own discernment with our word or our knowledge and our uh, personal knowledge, it's the knowledge of the Lord, okay? It's the fear of the Lord. It's the acknowledgement and discernment of the Lord's word that we regard as powerful, man. Everything else is just vanity and vexation of spirit, okay? You have to get into the word, man. If you're not into the word of the Lord, well, you better get into it, man. Before you get destroyed. See, how about Shemel Shine playing with you people, man? All right. Proverbs 14 and verse number 13. See, these people are not getting it like you think they're getting it. They ain't doing shit, man. Proverbs 14 and verse number 13. It says, even in laughter, the heart is sorrowful. And the end of that mirth is heaviness. Woo! That's basically saying all of that joy that you have and that pleasure that you seek in or that you, you try to get is all for naught because those people 
that think that they're doing it, man. Like the scripture says, man, um, those that laugh now shall mourn later. And the laughter is also equated to joy. You know, you get pleasure from laughter. You know what I'm saying? But then at the end, man, it's heaviness. Let's look at the word for heaviness real quick, man, through it for edification's sake, man. Let's get that edif edif uh, fisio, man, to build up, you know what I'm saying? To build a building, man. Let's build you up. H8424 says grief, heaviness, sorrow, man. See that? Depression of spirits, concretely a grief, heaviness, sorrow. So people like this, man, they're going to, they're, listen, they look like they're partying and living it up like it's 1999. These people are feeling like shit deep down, man, because they know that their ticket is going to get punched real soon. Even if you're a millionaire, billionaire, multi-zillionaire, I don't give a shit what you got. At the end of the day, man, if you're not about this truth, if you're not about Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai pushing the knowledge of the Lord and pushing the uh, scriptures and the highways and the hedges, man, the Lord is going to vaporize your wicked ass, man. You're going to get vaped. All right? And we ain't talking about no damn uh, uh, smoke shop vapor shit, man. You're going to get knocked out, man. The Lord is going to knock you out, man. He's going to knock you out of consciousness, man. The, um, Ecclesiastes... 12 and 7, man. All right, let's go to that real quick. This is what's going to happen. You're a stupid, simple, wicked ass, man. Ecclesiastes 12 and 7, it says, um, Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was. <laughs> and the spirit shall return unto the heavenly father who gave it. Vanity of vanities, saith the preacher. All is vanity. So whether you make it or not make it, it's still vain because, listen, you're going to ultimately return back to the earth from which you came. How was that for being humble? How was that for humility, man? Who the hell do you think you really are, man? At the end of the day, you're just a piece of clay mixed with water, man. Piece of clay, man, okay? If you really looked up what you represent chemically, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, as, an alchem in, in, as an alchemy, Okay, the alchemy of your body. It's just basically made up of that. Exactly what I said, man, those compounds. You know, H2O and, and, and whatever else is made up with uh, with that, you know. Your body is, is made up of carbon as well. You know what I'm saying? Like your brain fires off of that. I think it's carbon and something else. It's like an engine also runs off of that same spark. So everything is run through the elements that are bestowed upon you from the Lord, man. And the Holy Spirit, that understanding of the scriptures, that all comes from the Heavenly Father, man, inside of that clay mixed with water. So who do you think you really are? Because the Lord gave you that discernment and knowledge and wisdom and understanding anyways, at the end of the day. If you're really truly a man of the Lord, then you're going to understand that because the Lord ordained you to understand that. Even before you were even in your mom's belly, man, the Lord knew you. Because why? Because he administered your spirit into your body. He called your spirit into your body even before you were in your mother's womb. That's crazy to think about that. Okay, so I just wanted to drop some knowledge, man. Listen, man, get away from these worldly ass people, man. They ain't shit and they ain't got nothing to offer you, man. You shouldn't even be cool with them, man. Don't even be nice to them, man. Because honestly, you know what I'm saying? Listen, if, now the scriptures do say... If it be at all possible, be at peace with all men. So you do got to be at peace with most of these people. But don't be nice to them intentionally. Don't go out of your way to be nice to them, man. Don't, you know what I'm saying? The scriptures say give on to the godly, man. All right? Don't give on to the sinner, man. Give to the godly, man. So, hey, shalom, my brothers. All right? I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem HaMashiach Yahweh Shai, Bahashem HaRakakudash. At the end of the day... It's all about the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, okay? Anything else is vanity and vanities. That's that. And with that, man, Shalom.